Hey friend, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan and I'm a stay-at-home mama of three boys who are five and under. I create content about homemaking, homeschooling, and faith. And today's video is gonna be about homeschooling. So I wanted to give a review about the good and the beautiful. That is the curriculum that we use on the regular. I have this big old stack, but I wanted to run through each one with you just to give you enough information if you're thinking about buying it or in the process of using the good and the beautiful just some thoughts that i had about it but yeah let's get into it the first curriculum that i wanted to go over was the preschool set that you can get this was the very first curriculum that i have bought officially i bought this curriculum when my son was four and a half he was going to be going into preschool but we just started it a little bit early in may and we loved it. So this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. Ours is obviously very well used. I've used this with my five-year-old and also my two-year-old. My two-year-old understands some of it because they do talk about colors in here. They do talk about upper and lowercase letters. My two-year-old doesn't really understand the lowercase yet, but he does understand some of the uppercase. But yeah, they do talk about some pretty basic concepts like colors and counting one to 10, I think. If you also go on the Good and the Beautiful website, they will help you to place your child if you're not sure which curriculum to buy. This curriculum comes with three parts. So it's the curriculum itself, some extra practice sheets that you can work on with your child if they need more help. And it also comes with this activity folder. We used this a lot in the beginning just because they absolutely loved it. They still really enjoy this. My two-year-old actually really loves this. It's really nice because they are very interactive ways to get your child interested in homeschooling. So that was my favorite thing about the preschool curriculum was in the beginning, I really, really needed this because his attention span wasn't quite all there because he still, he wasn't five yet and he was just kind of still working on getting focused past 15 minutes when we first began back in May. So I had to really work on growing his attention span, but this was a great way to get him engaged because it felt like he was just playing a game. It didn't feel as much like work. They have these little pieces that you get sheets of that you'll just basically punch out. Everything's really cute. The preschool curriculum really does heavily focus on upper and lowercase letters. So if your child doesn't have all of the sounds yet, this is a great place to start. It goes very slow. It was frustrating at times because he did have a lot of the things down and we could skip over. But I think at a certain point, I just decided, you know what, it can't hurt for him to actually just continue to work on each concept, even though he already knew it, because I think it just grew his confidence and solidified a lot of the things that maybe weren't as solid as I thought that they were. So I thought actually this pace was really good for my son. And again, he was four and a half when we began this and he turned five in October. So we began in May, he turned five in October and he finished this, I wanna say in January. So it took less than a year to finish. Then we moved on to the kinder prep. So the Kinder Prep, I don't really know if I needed to buy it. This is what it looks like. It doesn't come with anything else. It just comes with the book itself. It's not very long. It's about 30 lessons, I believe. Yeah, 30 lessons. And it does go over the letters again, which I mean, he probably didn't need that. It does talk about rhyming, which he hadn't gone over as much with the other one. It did go into vowels, it didn't go over vowels in the preschool curriculums. So those three were kind of the bigger differences between this one and the preschool one. And then in the very back, it has some little punch out cards, kind of like what I was talking about earlier with the activity folder. I didn't actually end up punching them out because he didn't really need them. I think if I could do it over, I still probably would have bought this though, just because it did incorporate some new concepts and kind of ease him into that before jumping into the kindergarten curriculum. So I'm gonna grab that one. This is the kindergarten curriculum that you would buy if you were getting the 
language arts for the good and the beautiful. The biggest surprise that I had when getting this curriculum was the jump from this to this. And what I mean by that is they were really starting to read in this one and they had just been barely introduced in this one. But I will say that for my son, because I think because he was older and we had taken so long with the sounds of the letters in the preschool, he was ready to jump to reading. And so he actually just like, it worked really well with his pace. I think because they went really slow with the sound. So he had those really solid and concrete in his mind and he was ready to do the reading. So it comes with these little reading booster cards, which are really nice. They're just extra work. And we're only on like lesson 10 or something like that in here. But at the beginning of each lesson so far, they have had them work on, he can work on either these booster cards or these little books that they have in here. So there's about 20 books in here. He was really excited about these and the booster cards as well, but this was a great way to kind of introduce reading to him because it's really simple and engaging. The booster cards work on more of that blending that was in the Kinder Prep book where you have the two letters at the beginning that they start to blend and then tacking on the third letter for CVC CBC words. They also have these little pyramids to build their sentences on. They make it user friendly. There is very, very, very little prep. It is so quick to prep. And in fact, I don't think I even prepped anything for this. The only thing that I prepped was they give a list in the beginning of the curriculum that does tell you what items that you might need. And they're not super obscure. I have been super pleased with this curriculum because my son is already beginning to read short sentences, which I was not expecting at all. I, I don't know, I didn't really know when he was gonna start to read, but I was really happy to find that he jumped right into that with this curriculum. For someone like me, I am not teacher certified. I. I'm just a mom and I'm homeschooling my child and for me something like this is so easy for me to use and they are still learning and I am so grateful and thankful that they have created such a quality curriculum and at an affordable cost. Another thing that I wanted to mention on here is that each of these curriculums that I am showing you comes with video resources. So I actually, in the beginning, I just kind of stayed away from them, but I tried them out and I absolutely love their videos. They are all very well made and you can find them on YouTube or you can go to their website. They also have some apps, some homeschooling apps. The apps are really easy to use and my son does like to watch the videos and play the tiles game where they build different words on there. The Good and the Beautiful also has some exercise type videos where they take the children on a journey of some sort and it's really cute. You should definitely check them out. That's also on YouTube. Another thing that I ordered was the math kindergarten curriculum and it comes with a math box. It has these little cars in it that you can utilize throughout the curriculum. Some dice or die for the equations, some counting sticks, and some little pawns. He was really excited about this box. We have been working on this curriculum since May of last year, and it is now April. So <laughs> we've been we've been trucking along with this one, but it really is because he still wasn't, he was still in preschool technically, so he didn't really need to be in this. We've been more consistent with the math because I have gotten on kind of this better schedule of doing 30 minutes of math and 30 minutes of language arts for four days a week. That is kind of our rhythm that we have tried to get into. As far as my take on the math curriculum, I actually really like it. I don't really have much to compare it to because I didn't really purchase anything else. I just heard so much about the good and the beautiful that I just decided, well, if, 
all of these other moms like it, then I'm gonna try it out. And it's still really user-friendly across the board. Every curriculum that I've ever bought from them has been fantastic, so yeah. <laughs> when I bought the preschool curriculum and the math curriculum, I also bought their pre-writing doodle for littles notebook. And it just kind of helps them to work on getting used to using a pencil and or a marker or a crayon, obviously. <laughs> and just getting used to fine lines. Initially, when I first bought this, he did not like it. He was definitely not a fan, but as he got a little bit older, he loved it. He would spend probably an hour just like working on tracing things. I don't know what happened, but at some point my son, sometime around when he turned five, he got really into drawing, coloring, tracing. So this was really beneficial when he was going through that kind of phase. I do want to purchase the other handwriting books that they have. I think they could be beneficial. I haven't super looked into it, but I would like to get some more for him to work on letters specifically because I do think he needs to kind of work on handwriting stuff more. The final curriculum that I wanted to go over was their science one. This is the other, it's upside down. <laughs> this is the other curriculum that I purchased for them. And I do really like it a lot too. We haven't gotten to it as much just because I try to cover the main subjects, which are math and language arts right now. This is just kind of extra if we are just feeling like changing it up a little bit. It comes with these two books. This one is a book of stories that are really cute stories about nature. This unit, I guess you would call it, is um, Fields and Flowers. They really like it a lot. It talks about worms and snakes and plants and trees. They like the stories from here. This is the parent guide and it has just some good probing questions for them as well as little videos that you can pull up from their website. Yeah, I also do recommend this one if you're looking for just like an extra elective or something just to throw in the mix of your day with your kiddos. This is a great way to incorporate younger kiddos as well. I um, do this one with my two-year-old and five-year-old. That is all of the curriculum that we have bought from The Good and the Beautiful. Again, I I love it so far, so good, and I probably will continue to purchase them until it's not good. I don't know. Um, I think the biggest thing for me for The Good and the Beautiful is the quality, the affordability, and the user-friendly. And that is because I'm a stay-at-home mom, probably just like you. And I mean, we have a lot on our plates already and we are a one income family. So affordability is super important. Of course, we want a quality education for our children and user-friendly for moms like me who are not teacher certified, anything like that. But we can just jump into this, teach our children and they can be excited about learning. My son does love to learn. I can confidently say that and I am so thankful for all of the moms who have influenced me here on YouTube, who have been pioneers for homeschooling and just opened up all of these doorways to just confidence really for moms like me who were not interested in homeschooling at all. I was not interested, <laughs> but there have been so many moms that have been on YouTube or um, friends of mine that have encouraged me and just shown me that there is a better way to teach our children and homeschooling is a fantastic route to go. And so thank you if that is you. And if you are encouraged by this, I just want to encourage you to leave a comment down below any yeah any and all feedback um what's been your experience if you enjoyed this video go ahead and click that like and subscribe button and hopefully i'll see you on the next one